Hello, and welcome to Allegiant Health. I'm Leslie Kunal, and on behalf of our physicians, staff, and volunteers, thank you for trusting us with your care. We are called by our mission to care for the body, mind, and spirit of every person. As we carry out this mission, I want you to know that Allegiant Health is here for you. We will take very good care of you, and we will respect your rights and help you with your responsibilities as much as we can. You can find a listing of these in the patient handbook you received when you arrived. We'll talk more about your responsibilities a bit later, but first, let's talk about your rights as an Allegiant Health patient. As an Allegiant Health patient, you have a right to dignity and respect. This means that you'll be treated in a way that respects you as a person, your values, your cultures, your belief, your preferences for health care. As a faith-based health care system, we honor your spiritual and religious needs. You also have the right to be supported by those who are important to you. You may have anyone you'd like be present during your time with us, as long as we are able to provide safe care for you and ensure the safety of those around you. You may also keep your personal items with you unless your care team feels they will interfere with your care or safety or the care or safety of others around you. You have the right to be treated without discrimination, no matter what. And you have the right to a prompt response to requests for services. Just ask your care team for anything that you might need while you're with us and we will work hard to make sure your needs are met. As an Allegiant Health patient, you have the right to safety and comfort. That means receiving treatment for your pain and receiving care in a safe and secure environment. We will keep you free from any restraint or seclusion that is not medically necessary and protect you from any form of mental, physical, sexual, or verbal abuse, harassment, neglect, or exploitation. It is also important to us to provide you with community resources you may find helpful. If you have experienced intimate partner violence or need information on adult or child protective service programs, or if you would like help with guardianship and conservatorship issues, please let us know so we can put you in touch with the right people. As an Allegiant Health patient, you have the right to privacy and confidentiality. That means that we will protect your privacy and keep your information confidential no matter what. This means that you can have private conversations with visitors and your medical team, whether in person or on the phone. It also means that we will keep your personal health information and your medical records confidential. Only you can say who receives that information, and only you get to decide who is involved in discussions about your health care. You also have the right to know that we do operate video and audio recording equipment in some locations throughout the facility. This equipment is in place to protect your safety and help with your care. You can read more about your privacy rights in the Notice of Privacy Practices statement located in your patient handbook. As an Allegiant Health patient, you have the right to information and communication. We can help you review your medical record if you would like. We encourage you to ask questions about your health care and treatment options. For some people, this means receiving information about end-of-life care needs. We will do our best to answer your questions in a way that is easy for you to understand. If you are more comfortable communicating in a language other than English, we will provide you with a medical trained interpreter and translated materials at no cost to you. You will see many faces during your stay with us. It can get overwhelming, so don't hesitate to ask our names and our professional status. If you arrive here alone, we are happy to contact your doctor and a personal contact for you. And after you leave us, if you have questions about your bill, we'll be happy to go over this with you line by line. There may be instances in which your insurance company or Medicare determines that you are no longer eligible for coverage. Should this happen, you will be notified of the cost of your care in a timely manner. And should you have questions about this, please be sure to talk to a member of your care team. As an Allegiant Health patient, you have the right to make decisions about your health care. Your care team will talk with you your prognosis and diagnosis. From there, we can discuss care options, the risks and benefits of treatments, as well as unexpected and expected outcomes. Sometimes options available to you include participation in clinical trials. This means that you may be eligible to be part of a research program looking at the usefulness of a particular medication or treatment. It is your right to be informed of these options, if available, and your doctors will provide you with more information before you decide to participate in research. You need all of that information to decide which healthcare treatments you do or don't want to accept and you always have the option to seek out a second opinion or to transfer your care to another provider. 
And as you prepare to leave Allegiant Health, we will help plan for your discharge needs, whether you're heading home or to another facility for continued care. It can be helpful to name someone who you trust to make decisions on your behalf in the event you are physically or mentally unable to do so for yourself. This person is called your surrogate decision maker and could be a family member, friend, or any other person you choose. In some cases, your surrogate may be a guardian or court-appointed advocate. Most importantly, your surrogate needs to understand your wishes, values, and beliefs so that they can make decisions for you in the way that you would make them for yourself. You may choose to legally name your surrogate in your advanced directives documents. As an Allegiant Health patient, you have the right to complete advanced directives documents, such as a living will, a durable power of attorney for health care, or a durable power of attorney for mental health care. These documents help you name your surrogate decision maker and help to explain your health care wishes to your care team. Review your advanced directives documents to make sure they reflect your current wishes. Then provide us with a copy so they become a part of your medical record. If you don't have advanced directives documents completed and would like to do so, or if you need to update your current documents, let us know and we'll be happy to provide you with the materials and help you need. Because it is your right as a patient for your care team to honor your wishes, we will do our best to follow your advanced directives in accordance with the law and our mission and we'll let you know if we're unable to do so for any medical, legal, or ethical reasons. We will also do our best to respect your right to have your wishes about organ, tissue, and eye donation honored. If you have questions about this, we can help you connect with people who can provide you with additional information. All of us here at Allegiant Health are committed to providing you with an excellent care experience. We welcome your comments as we want to be sure we meet your needs and exceed your expectations. We do understand, however, that sometimes a patient feels his or her needs or expectations are not quite being met. If this happens to you, we recognize your right to voice your concerns and want you to feel comfortable talking openly and confidentially with your doctors and other care providers or with the Allegiant Health Management team. You can be sure that your future care will not be affected in a negative way by telling us about your concerns. You also have a right to file a formal grievance with us or with an outside agency such as the Joint Commission or the State Department of Health. Your patient handbook has more information on the grievance process. You've just learned about your rights as a patient and we want you to know that we are committed to honoring these rights. If for some reason we cannot do this, we will talk with you about it as soon as possible. And now that you know what you can expect from us, here is what we need from you. As an Allegiant Health patient, it is your responsibility to treat everyone with dignity and respect and to follow the Allegiant Health rules and guidelines while you are with us. We ask that you give us correct and complete information about yourself and your health so we can work together to set goals and make decisions about your treatment. When you come for your visit, you need to bring with you four things. A photo ID, your insurance card, a copy of your advance directives, and the list of all your medications, both over-the-counter and prescription, with the dosages and how often you take them. Ask questions when you don't understand information about your health care. We all need to work together to meet your goals and carry out your decisions. As an Allegiant Health patient, it is your responsibility to maintain your treatment plan and to talk honestly with your care team about why you may be unable to do so. If you choose not to follow instructions or decide not to participate in treatment options that you agree to, you must take responsibility for your outcomes. Don't be afraid to tell us about changes in your condition and be sure to ask us any questions that will help you understand how to best meet your treatment goals and best address your needs, body, mind, and spirit. It is your responsibility as patients to make sure our insurance companies know and approve of your scheduled visits. It's then up to you to pay your bills or ask for help if payment presents a challenge. Allegiant Health offers financial assistance and you can ask to speak to one of our financial counselors at any time for more information. Because we are dedicated to providing you with the kind of care that you want and need, it is your responsibility to tell us what we can do to make your visit better and to talk with us if you have any concerns about your safety or comfort. We want to hear your thoughts and comments about your care 
and we want to know what we can do to support you and help you heal. Please let us know if you have questions about these rights and responsibilities, and please let us know what we can do to make sure your time with us is as supportive as possible. Thank you.